Yesterday, I had started a poll on asking what's the next video topic which you want to learn about. And most of you had requested for profiles in Spring Boot. Almost uh, we received 410 votes and 80% of you, which is almost like 328 people have requested for the profiles in Spring Boot. Let's see how we can use profiles inside a Spring Boot application. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. As usual, we are in the Spring Initializer. I'm going to use the group ID as com tech primers dot profiles and I'm going to name the artifact as profiles hyphen example. We can say Spring profiles have an example and the dependency I would require is uh, basically nothing I don't want to use anything specific I'll just use spring MVC so I'm going to say web I don't need any JPA or any anything else I'm just going to show you with just a small uh, rest endpoint and how we can use profiles to control loading of different files and different configurations right let's generate this project I'll unzip and open it in IntelliJ. So the project is open here. There is nothing specific in the default uh, template. So it will be just the main class with the annotation which is required for the Spring Boot application. And we don't even have the application properties or the application YAML. So let's see how we can use profiles to control that, right? Before that, let's create a basic endpoint where I want to load a spring property and I want to just display that as a response. So let's try creating that. I'll create a new Java class. I'll call it uh, hello controller. I am just going to print a, um, what do you call a property. We can just say hello resource. However, you can, you can name it however you want. I'm just going to name it as hello resource. You can name it as hello controller or hello rest controller or whatever it is, right? Since we are going to use Spring MVC, I'll just say REST controller and the resource needs to be mapped to a URL. So let's say it is going to be called as REST slash hello. And here I'm going to have a get mapping. I'm just going to give a string message as a response. And this is going to be an object right I'll just say message I'll, I'll not create it as a local variable I'll create it as a field so that we can inject that particular field I'm going to inject this particular field with the variable spring dot message so let's inject this particular variable spring dot message and see how we can leverage it here if I directly mention it in the application dot properties, it will be loaded for every property. However, let's say we are going to load it for a specific profile. So let's create, a, I'll show you why the profile will be used. I'll create a file called application hyphen dev dot yaml. Whenever you see a hyphen after the application, these are nothing but the profiles. So whenever I say my profile is dev, this application hyphen dev dot yaml will be loaded. If I create something called application hyphen prod, then I need to use the profile prod. You can have any name to it. There is no naming convention for profiles. You can create your own names and use those profiles whenever you require. I'm going to create a basic application hyphen dev dot yaml and I'll mention spring dot message. Right, I'll just say under spring I have a spring dot message and the message is going to be hello YouTube from dev environment right I'll just create an environment basically and I want to provide the port number which I want to run on if I want to run the same port for all the environment then I can use it in the application dot yaml or application dot properties but if let's say I want to have my profile specific ports then I can just say server 
and then I'll just say port 8081 I can create something like this so these configuration which we have mentioned inside application or dev will be used only when we are using this profile so I'll show with an example I'll just use the same details in the application.yaml so here I'm going to say uh, I'm just going to say just the hello YouTube and let's use the and this is a property file right so I can't use the YAML notation I'll just say like this and I will use the port 9091 right See, we have different configuration in the application or properties and we have different in the dev application dev yaml let's try starting this particular project so the server came up let's see what port did it come up with it came up with the port 9091 which we had mentioned in the application dot properties so this basically means we did not pass any profile so the application dot properties got loaded so let's uh, go to the browser and then hit this particular rest endpoint which we created 9091 and it is obviously going to say hello YouTube isn't it we had created rest slash hello see that we got the hello YouTube so this basically came in from this particular property file and the port also was used only from this particular property file now let's see how we can use this particular property file to be loaded for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new profile let the server be running I'll create one more profile I'll just mention the main class here the main class is just the same I'll just say this is my dev profile I'll just name it as dev profile and I can pass the profile here in IntelliJ so there could be an environment variable what I'll do is I'll pass the environment variable in order to set a profile you need to pass the variable spring.profiles.active and I'll say dev right so that is what we have so we have a dev profile and I'm going to start the dev profile now so this particular server now should start the same application however in a dip different port number and also it should inject the new message which we request for see that the server came up with 8081 let's try that with an example here by hitting the rest URL with 8081 and it should return the new message which we had injected and see that it says hello YouTube from the dev environment so by this way we loaded a specific profile and that profile got loaded because we had mentioned it here as an environment variable and the environment variable is spring.profiles.active so this is a single way where you want to load some properties based on some profiles so this is loading properties inside spring boot you can have application hyphen dev dot properties or you can have application hyphen dev dot yaml whichever is comfortable for you there is one more way where we can load profiles and we can use profiles in the java configuration if you're using Spring Boot application, you might be aware that we create configurations. We basically create Java configurations. Let's try creating a Java config. And let's name it as Java dev config. Whenever we create a configuration, we need to annotate it with configuration. And that is what we are doing as well. So that Spring Boot can do an auto configuration when it comes up. The additional thing which we need to require in order to load this particular configuration for a specific profile is by annotating it with profile. We can do a profile and mention what profile this file needs to be activated with. I'm just going to mention dev for the profile. So that way this particular class will be used or loaded only when there is a dev profile which got initialized. So let's try creating a bean or uh, what can I do we can try creating a post construct and we can just do a system.out.println and say loaded 
dev environment let's try first without a profile i'll just restart this particular server and let's see what happens i'm just adding a post construct into a configuration i have never done this before but i'm just going to give it a try i'm going to see if this particular log is getting printed if there is a dev profile on this particular configuration and i am not starting my server with a dev profile so we have started the default profile which is did not have dev so i don't see any log configuration but let's try restarting the server which had the dev profile and see if this is going to get printed so that way we will know that this dev got loaded when there was a dev profile and see here and it happened right and if i go here i should not see this right yeah i, I don't see any log there called loading dev environment however i see this log called loading dev environment when there is a dev profile when we brought the spring boot application up so this is another way where we can load a java based configuration similar to how we loaded the application yamls or the property files we can use the profiles in order to load the java configurations if let's say i want to uh, use this particular file but for all the different profiles but i don't want to use dev in that case i can use an exclamatory mark i can just say don't use it for dev so if i restart this application where we did not mention any profile in that case this particular loading dev profile or do loading dev environment class should get loaded because we did not have a dev profile right see that is what is happening here i have uh, mentioned the exclamatory mark before the profile name that way if there is no dev profile mentioned then this particular class gets loaded if there is a dev profile this file will not be loaded if i restart this right it should you should be able to see that the dev environment loading dev environment log should not come up now see that nothing came now right and the server is up so this is how you can use uh, profiles inside a spring boot application i'll just summarize it again so initially what we saw was we were using the application hyphen dev yaml so the application hyphen dev yaml will be loaded when you are using the dev profile and the profiles can be passed using the environment variable spring dot profiles dot active this can be passed as an argument hyphen d and then you can just have this key value pair passed to the jvm an application hyphen dev yaml will be loaded only when there is a dev profile if there is no profile application dot yaml or application dot properties will be loaded or else it will have the hyphen and the corresponding profile that will get loaded this is how you can load a properties file using profile if you want to load the java classes based on property file you can use the annotation add profile and you can provide the profile names if you don't want to load that particular profile you can do a negation so that way this file will not be loaded when you mention that particular profile so these are different ways of how you can use profiles generally where do we use profiles is when you have different configurations for different environment or you have different um implementations which you want to inject in different setup then you can use spring profiles in a spring boot application i hope you guys understood what is spring profiles as usual this particular code base will be available in the git repository you can take it from there the link for that is in the description below if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much